genuine ancient rock at Bourbon. See here? Hey! Well, you low living contraption, I ought to take a can opener to you. Hello again, whiskey tippers and spirit sippers. One one here again, and today we got another one. We're going back to Bourbon. Today we're going to be talking about Elijah Craig. Barrel proof. Oh, today we got the Elijah Craig barrel proof. We got the C921. This bad boy's coming in at 120.2 proof to 60.1 ABV. So you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of bourbon, but one of my favorite bourbons was the Elijah Craig. I've only had one Elijah Craig, but it was the C919. Uh, and it was delicious. That bad boy was coming in at 136.8, I think. Yeah, I think it was like 136.8. Just fireballs. But it went down smooth. It didn't drink that hot. So I'm, I have high hopes for this one. Um, I've heard some people kind of said that a lot, the barrel proof kind of dipped for a while and it wasn't as good as it used to, or it wasn't as good as it used to be for a while. But we're going to find out for ourselves. This bad boy is 12 years old, non chill filtered, 120 plus proof. Like, Let's get into it. I should always have a cheat code for this and already have it started before I get this because some of these are just ridiculous to get into. Well, let's see if we can get it open from here. Oh, no pop. Oh, that's better. Let's get it in there. Hundred and twenty proof. Oh, that smells nice. Um, usually, uh, most bourbons just have this like burnt Dr. Pepper taste to me. Like I don't know, I don't even drink Dr. Pepper. I've never liked it, but and I've never drank burnt Dr. Pepper. But that's just kind of the flavor profile that it kind of gives to me. Just burnt Dr. Pepper, or if you go in like the Buffalo Trace direction, like Luden Brothers, like cherry cough syrup almost. So I mean, it's kind of. One of those burnt cherry Dr. Peppers. Um, I just haven't found a lot I like. Um, my Henry McKenna 10 I like. The Eagle Rare is delicious. That's definitely one of the best ones. And my favorite was the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. So. I was also on a plane on the way to Vegas and had a Woodford Reserve. And uh, that was really good. But I mean, isn't anything going to be good when you're on your way to Vegas? <laughs> but I definitely want to do a review of the Woodford Reserve and see if I really like that one as much as I thought I did. I've seen some reviews that uh, usually I would wait 12 minutes, but I've seen some reviews where it tastes one way right out of the bottle and then rapidly starts ch um, changing. Uh, maybe it's because it's such a high proof, so we are going to get right into this one. But this one's just got a nice little soft raisin grape. Maybe a cherry, but not the burnt cherry. Kind of just a nice little sweet cherry. A little vanilla and brown sugar. I mean, this one's really smooth. Um, not a lot going on, just, and it's not like blasting your nose when you get in there and try to nose it a little bit. Like a little uh, strawberry and vanilla. Oh, that's interesting. Let's taste it. Cheers. It's not bad. I mean, anytime you start getting over 120, you're kind of waiting for that just punch to get you. I mean, as you know, especially like with all the four, four squares and everything, I'm kind of a high proof for her. I, I do like the higher proofs, so. It's kind of making the mouth water a little bit. I do like it. Um, there's really still not a kick. Still kind of waiting for that Kentucky hug. I mean, there's the tiniest little bit of a tickle, but wow, for barrel proof, this one slides right down. Um, it kind of hits, you know, hits the front of your tongue, nice, smooth, and silky as soon as it goes over the front of your lips. Um, has like a nice little kind of strawberry vanilla mid palate, and then almost. Getting more into that, not prune juice, but more of that dark cherry, um, like a cooked or stewed dark cherry plums kind of on the back end of it, on the first note. Yeah, that's almost like strawberry, vanilla, grapes, and maraschino cherries. Like not even the dark cherries, just like maraschino sweet cherries. I like it. I like the smell. Yeah, this isn't. I didn't. I didn't know what to expect with this one. Um, it's not the same 
flavor profile as the C919 was, that one, that one just had, I mean, it had a kick, but it was so smooth when it did it. It was like one of those, like, you don't even expect it gun punches, like a friend just messing with you, like, oh, what's up? Oh, wait, I didn't expect that. Like, it was just nice all the way around. Like, it was just fun. It was a great one. Um, this one's nice. It doesn't, doesn't kind of bring all that, but what it does bring, like I said, I've never really had that star, strawberry vanilla note. And, uh, man, my second Elijah Craig barrel proof, and so far, so good. I'm really liking it. Yeah. That's nice. A little bit more of a, the oak note, as in more air is hitting it. A little bit more of an oaky note kind of hitting onto it, but I like that oak note. That's really good. Let's put a drop of water in it and see what happens. See if that breaks anything new open. Any extra flavors trying to hide in there. But yeah, so far so good. Really liking Elijah Craig. Got two for two. It's funny, I've never even tasted the regular Elijah Craig, so I have no idea what that tastes like. But both barrel, I've had two barrel proofs now, and both of them have been delicious. Mm. Bringing more of like a stewed plum, but kind of starting to creep towards that aging, not rotten prune juice, but bourbon rotten prune juice note that I get on a lot of bourbons. The water's kind of bringing that out. Uh, a little bit more the dark black cherries. Plums, figs, raisins are kind of more coming out of those dark fruits. That strawberry vanilla note I was getting earlier is kind of out the window right now. Maybe the vanilla, but that strawberry vanilla swirl kind of thing I was getting is it's not on there. It's more just a vanilla note. Oh man. As the more air gets on it, the more it's in there, like that vanilla note's getting there. The strawberry's still gone, but that vanilla note's getting a little more prevalent. Let's see how it tastes. Skull. Just kind of has a cola note. Maybe like a strawberry or a, a cherry Coke. I haven't had one of those in a while, but it's kind of a... Not, I don't like Dr. Pepper. This one's kind of leaning more into the cherry Coke. I didn't drink a lot of those, but they're not as bad as Dr. Pepper to me. It has kind of a cherry cola flavor. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Yeah, I'm liking this one so far. Let's see how it holds up over some ice. Man, so far so good. Uh, two for two with the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I'm really going to have to go check out the regular Elijah Craig and see if I just like that distillery taste profile. Little pop. Oh, we're a little bit uh, behind out here in Washington, so uh, they just now have the B, what is it, the B522 out. So yeah, we just now have the B522 out. I know, you know, back in Kentucky and back east, they're already on the A123, which it should be. It's, you know, it's January, so it's out. But yeah, we're still back on the B120 or the B522 if I wanted to get the next one. So I have this one, the C921. And then I have the A122. And yeah, they have back east, they have the uh, A123 out. We have the B522. So, so there's still two batches ahead of us over there. So we got a ways to go. But oh, let's see how this one holds up. I don't want too much water to melt in it. Again, it has that nice cherry cola note. Usually I get like a salty oaky note when the ice comes out, but I'm not getting so, too much of the barrel notes on this one. It's more of a cola popsicle, like cola cherry popsicle. Though. Sweetness, tiny bit, little bit of a vanilla. Oh, let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Getting that Luden Brothers cherry note on this, kind of a cherry popsicle. Tiny bit of the oak note, like you lick your lips, kind of get that oak note. That saltiness I usually get over ice, that kind of came out on the taste. Um, it wasn't there on the nose, but it was definitely there on the taste. Yeah, just kind of oaky, vanilla, cherry. Um, as usual, the ice kind of blasted it. I mean, even though this is barrel proof, the ice still kind of kind of killed a lot of the flavors. Kind of like an oaky cherry popsicle. A salty oaky cherry popsicle. <laughs> That's what, uh, over ice, it's a salty cherry oaky popsicle. Yeah, definitely like this one neat, but I do like it neat. Absolutely, I would buy this again if I saw it out there. 
or if I was one of you, I saw it out there, I probably wouldn't because I'd be buying the next one and trying to taste that one and just keep the reviews going. But man, for not being a huge fan of bourbon, um, I'm starting to think that uh, Elijah Craig might be my bag. That might be my style. Um, like I said, I'm going to have to grab a regular one, just the old 94 proof and see how that does because the barrel proofs are A-OK -okay, and this one has me a lot more excited to dip into this other one, which I'll probably be doing here pretty quick. And if I like that one, then I'll definitely be running right out and grabbing that B-1 too that's out right now. So keep your eyes out. They'll be coming, but absolutely not too shabby. Um, scale out of 1 to 10, if I'm going on a bourbon scale, um, I got to put this up there at like a 8.8. .8. 8.7, 8.8. I mean, it's up there. I like it as far as the bourbons I've tasted. On a whiskey scale, um, like just overall whiskeys, um, this one's still pretty good. I like it. Um, the proof is there. It's smooth. It's easy. Tastes good. Smells good. I'd probably give it, I mean, even like an 8.4, 8.5 on an all-around whiskey scale. Nothing wrong with it. Just because, like I know, I just know that I'm not a big fan of bur all the bourbons I've tasted so far. And out of the ones I've tasted, this one's delicious. Granted, there's tons of them I haven't tasted. I mean, I've never even tasted an Old Forester. Um, I finally just tasted my first four roses the other day, and that was pretty good. So there's definitely going to be some more bourbons coming down the line. Um, yeah, definitely got some bad boys back here that I can't wait. <laughs> got some bad boys back there and a few more hidden that I can't wait to get through. So, yep, keep your eyes open. They'll be coming down. But, yeah, all in all, man, Elijah Craig Barrel Crew, if you see one, get one. They are as solid as a rock. I believe I picked this one up for $65 at Costco. Um, I've, I've had this one for a while. I've had both of these for like a year just sitting here on the shelf waiting. Maybe not a full year, but at least eight months. So yeah, I mean, you can tell there was dust on it and stuff. So yeah, I'm getting behind in these uh, tastings, but we're starting to catch up now. We're back at it. So keep your eyes out. And uh, if you like what you see, hit the like button. You might want to subscribe. You don't have to hit the bell because you might not want to be barraged every time we put a video out. But uh, yeah, just to let you know and easier to find, we'll be back doing these videos. So if you like it, come on back and uh, we have plenty more coming. So I hope everybody out there is having an absolutely fantastic week and it only gets better from here until we see you on the next one. Slime